This brief tutorial will show the tools that are available for generating wave loadings within SAP 2000. For this example, we will assume that we wish to generate wave loadings on a structure that is submerged in 60 feet of water. The velocities and accelerations calculated in the fluid will be resolved into drag and inertial forces that will ultimately be applied as varying distributed loads on the members. The definition of the wave loads is handled through the define load cases option. We will define a new load case named wave, with type wave, and with the automated lateral loads based on the API specifications. Next, select the wave case and go to modify lateral load. Here we specify the wave load parameters such as the wave characteristics, profile, marine growth which affects the width of the members, drag and inertia coefficients, which are used with velocities and accelerations, and buoyancy. Click on the Modify Show button for the characteristics, and we see that under the wave type we have two options, wave theory or user defined. If user defined is selected, the user creates a table of wave points. For this example, we will generate a wave using the airy wave theory. We will leave the wave height at 6 feet and the period at 7 seconds, but we'll switch the stormwater depth to 60 feet. Click OK and we can finish the data input by specifying the direction and position of the wave, including the approach angle and the distance to the crest. In this case, under the vertical elevations, the datum should be a positive 60 feet and the mud line will be minus 60 feet below the datum. We can view the wave by clicking on the Show Wave Plot button. Note that the program has calculated the wavelength from the input data. On the plot, we have a number of items that may be displayed. The Click for Values option allows us to click anywhere on the plot to obtain the coordinates, as well as the velocities, the accelerations, and the pressure. The Contours option displays the velocity, acceleration, and pressure contours. The Arrow selection displays the resultant velocities and accelerations, while the Vertical and Horizontal cuts will draw a diagram of the selected item at any location on the plot. If we click on the Show Values at Pointer option, the cursor will continuously display the coordinates and the value of the selected item, which in this case is vertical velocity. A click on the Done and then on the OK button completes the wave loading case for this example. This concludes this tutorial.